Yo, what's up guys? It's Lost Griff. Welcome back to another video where today we're going to be doing another one of those, uh, you know, voiceover, like kind of just recording, um, you know, my games. And I've done a few of these videos so far and you guys have kind of liked them. Um, I think it's just a really fun, like, you know, video style to record. And so that's why I, I keep making them. So I hope you guys have been enjoying them. We're gonna be looking at how I broke a uh, top 1k global yesterday. Um, I actually hit rank 670, um, overall, which is pretty crazy in 1v1s. And I honestly, um, I'm really proud of myself for it. Um, and I, I'm just happy it worked out and I, I'm excited to show you guys some of the games we got. So just want to say before the video starts, make sure if you enjoy, you drop a sub because I've been trying as much as I can to upload every single day. So if you're enjoying, uh, you know, the multiverses content I put out, you know, subbing would really help um, me overall just grow my channel. Also, I have socials in the description below and a, uh, you know, discord where we have LFG so you can find some teammates to play with. Thanks for coming by, guys. I hope you guys enjoy. Peace out. Okay, so here we are in game one. We got against a Shaggy player. And here's the thing about this Shaggy player in specific, right? He actually um, did end up beating me in the set. I will say that. So this is a 1-2. This is a one -two. But this guy... Okay, so first of all, buff Finn. Look at that. Didn't kill. But anyway. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I, I actually was landing some really nice combos on this guy. I will tell you, yesterday I was feeling so warmed up. Because I had previously streamed a uh, 1v1 playing against viewers. And honestly, dude, I felt so on fire these games. It's actually crazy. So you guys will kind of see that. Um, you know, I might play better than you guys previously have seen. But uh, yeah, so this Shaggy definitely um, had me a little bit uh, kind of raging at the other games. Because these next two matches, he actually... I literally SD'd both games, like, pretty badly. Like, one of them was at, like, 15%. And it was super infuriating. The other was at like 40%. But this first game honestly was pretty even. And he played pretty well. Like that spike was really good. And luckily I got that per almost pretty much frame perfect dodge from that down air. And he gets a side special on me. One of the better things he was better at doing is just catching me in disadvantage. Like he'd always he'd always hit me while I was like trying to uh, punish him. While he's uh, off ledge. And yeah right there that was just me being stupid. I don't know why that killed at 112. Uh, just you know nerf shaggy. Anyway so... Yeah, so we get a downer there, and unfortunately that's not enough. I don't know why I thought that would be enough. I should have chased him or went for a combo, but it's whatever. And we get 132 on him there. I think a downer kills at this point or an up tilt. So I'm just trying to land something, but he just keeps pushing his advantage. And there we go. Yeah, finally, we get a high five off, and that ends the stock. So I have a gem in my hand. At this point, I'm trying to play as passive as I can, just throwing out the gem as soon as I see an opening. And he does dodge it, and I miss a lot of hits there. I keep going for combo starters, and I keep missing them. So at this point, I'm like, I need to try something new. So I gem back onto him. I don't land that, but I do get a nair into up air, which does a good 12%. Um, I think I go for, yeah, I go for an up tilt there. I get finally get a dare nair, does some damage, get another one. Uh, miss the up tilt there, unfortunately. I should have probably went for a forward air instead. And yeah, I, I get a free high five there, of course, and... Send another gem in, and at this point, he's kind of just losing his groove. So, um, he goes for the charge, and I try to go for the punish, and I just don't... It just... It wasn't a good idea to go for the lunge there towards him. I just took the gem damage and ran away. So, I actually went for a little bit of a mix-up there. I was double backpacking, because I knew he wouldn't expect it, and I thought it'd be kind of safe. It was also me kind of panicking a little bit. And, yeah, I go for the down tilt there, because I knew he'd kind of uh, touch the top of the ledge. Um, and try to go for the recovery once I backed up, so I caught him off guard there. Here we go with game two, and we have a Harley this game. Now, one thing about Harley I've learned is, is, is as broken as she is and as little brain cells as she takes, um, I do think that with Harley, like, you need to play very patient as a Finn, and if you do play patient, it's definitely an even matchup, 100%. You just have to play very smart, very patient. You have to be prepared for anything they're going to do. And you have to realize that the biggest thing about Harley is her down air is a huge counter to your up tilt. Like... Your up tilt will naturally never hit a Harley. Their down air will always beat it. Almost every single time. Like, unless they mess it up, you will naturally be losing to down air almost every single time you try to charge in the ground. And that's one thing I realized about Finn. If you're trying to chase a Harley down by just charging the whole game, especially using only up tilt and not neutral attack, then you'll struggle. And I get a lot really lucky down tilt spike there. I usually don't win off those, but I'll take it. Um, so, you know, he's probably... He was probably really annoyed at that point, and I don't know what that Harley glitch was. That should have hit me. But anyway, I throw the gem back at her. I try to get some hits, but unfortunately, I have a tactic case, so she was able to get a hit stun really early. And he's kind of just running around me, just getting a lot of damage on. Um, I use gem to try to get back off uh, on stage, because hammer, you know, never really know how it's going to work. And I think he gets... Oh, no, he doesn't land it there. Um, I actually just outspaced him. Fin diff right there. So, yeah, so I, I do go for the gem. I keep trying to land some chip damage on him, and I think that ends it. Yep, that's the end of the stock. He gets into the jack in the box. And one thing about Harley is, again, is a lot of people don't understand this either. Like, with Harley, 
a lot of people think, oh, he can just shoulder charge Harley's Jack in the Box. Surely it's a it's a bad matchup for Harley. Nope, because literally you can just put it in the exact spot where Finn can't shoulder charge it. Like you can put you can put it in the middle of the stage, jump up like like at the end of like a jump and a short hop, it, he won't be able to hit it, right? Like you really don't have to do much in order. Oh shit, that reversal is scary, Jesus. Um, always be careful about backpacking Harleys. It's usually not a good idea. Let me tell you guys. So keep that in mind. Anyway, so yeah, Jack in the Box can be put in a spot where it's just really hard to handle. And people sleep on that. Like, you, you shouldn't be putting your Jack in the Box on the ground if you're a Harley player watching this for whatever reason. Always put it, um, like, a jump up so that it's harder to hit with Finn Shoulder Charge. And sure, he can gem it, but, like, that wastes so much of his resources because not only does he have to catch it, he also has to, uh, or sorry, use some of his coins. My bad. It's showtime. And here we go. This game is actually, believe it or not, against the number three Garnet right now. I struggled against the number seven Garnet way more than I struggled against this guy for some reason. Um, I don't know why. He was just a lot easier of an opponent. Uh, but yeah, this was a really great player. Um, again, number three Garnet, you know, even though there's like five Garnet players in the world, you know, <laughs> but that's still a pretty crazy achievement. And I was pretty, I was pretty worried playing this game out. But after getting that nice combo at the start, I was like, maybe I can do this low key. So I kept just going for some different whiff punishes and stuff, and I unfortunately missed that backpack. I think that would have been it. Um, and he misses that nair fast fall. He I think he wanted a nair fast fall off stage. And never try to charge beat uh, Garnet nair. You most of the time won't beat it. Uh, it's just such a good move. So I do get a really nice combo there, and I try to go for the backpack, but unfortunately I only end up hitting the thing. And I don't know what that was. I think that was like a double hit or something. I don't know why that that like the hitbox like double hit me. It was really weird. So he goes for the sing there, and that jab kills. And at this point, I'm getting a little bit worried. Um, he has max sing stacks, and I go for the down tilt. He gets super lucky there, and I'm like, yo, hold up, winnable. Um, so I, I land a gem there, do 2%, you know, not, nothing crazy. Land the up tilt, go for the lunge right after, unfortunately miss it. I probably should have went for the up air and the, the nair forward air backpack, just going crazy right there. Getting 36% on him. And whether that, that AOE up special hit me or not, as you saw on the ground there, and, and there you go. That's, that's why Garnet is so good against Finn, is because you can just sing and just not care about gem. Um, and then you just immediately have, like, a super nice set of attacks you can throw. Like, that just did 40%. Like, that was crazy. So... Yeah, so I, I threw the gem there and I unfortunately missed that. But one thing I'm starting to realize as this game goes on is like, I'm overall winning neutral. I'm doing a lot more damage. Um, I'm putting a lot more pressure. And the less I use gem, the better I do. Um, I'm trying to use it as a mix-up tool instead of like a recovery tool because it's really predictable at that point. And I'm really glad he got a tactic there because I'm pretty sure I would have either died or gotten close to dying. And 135, getting really close here. So I, get, I grab a gem. Um, I begin playing a little bit more neutral play more safe and then i go for a backpack here i whiff it unfortunately backpack isn't that un isn't that unsafe on garnet because that's a pretty big hitbox and also because garnet doesn't have many ways to punish it so you know I, I like going for backpacks on garnet whenever i get the chance to and at this point i just want it there i just want it there as soon as i can and that's after that jab i'm like dude please i need it there so bad i know it kills he's at 140 i just need to find it and i keep trying to go for the whiff punish and oh that nair almost ends it and he goes tries to go for an up special to end it there and he goes for the jab and luckily i read him and i get that down there super close game shout out to psionics really good garnet that was a really close match all right, and then here's a game I got against a Toxic Iron Giant player. Now, here's the thing I've realized about Iron Giant, right? And you guys at the top might not know this, but, like, Iron Giant is naturally always just a cheesy pick. Like, like no matter what, he, no matter what's good about him, no matter what becomes viable about him, he has so much, like, stupid shit that Iron Giant players are just so boosted and used. Like, there's, like, this guy, for example, Stelios or whatever his name is, right? Literally, all he does is just grab... Um, down air, down special, right? And that's he usually does that after he uses his bolts. And so at this point, I am I'm actually sweating my ass off trying to win this game because if you're against an iron giant who's doing this, like it's oftentimes you will have counterplay. But if he grabs you midair while you've wasted even just one of your resources, you lost. You're dead. Like it doesn't matter what percent you're at, you die. And uh, yeah, a little lag spike there, um, multiverses. That's how it goes. But yeah, so I'm trying to combo the shit out of this guy. I don't care how toxic I'm playing. I know what this guy's plan is. I have been grabbed and I have queued into this guy like three times and I've been grabbed, cheesed by him so many times. And I I'm just not in the mood. So I I'm going out. I'm going off on him as much as I can here. He throws out his bolts and um, I use a gem to recover. And there he goes for the grab there for whatever reason. And I uh, try to go back on him 86%. And I just, I don't know what that one was. That was just my fault. I took like 20% for that. Really made it back to ledge and lag spike almost kills me. Feels bad. Um, and so we go for the high five there. And I think that kills him. Yep. I don't know how that killed him. Usually it barely even kills people at 130. So I'm surprised it killed an iron giant at 170. 
So anyway, so 24% on him. Trying to push this lead as much as I can. This is probably my most dominant, um, you know, lead over him I've gotten so far. And he goes for the down special there. It's not enough to end it though. And uh, he barely misses that off ledge one. And that's, you know, of course he's starting to panic a little bit. He's like, my, 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 my strategy is not working. What the heck, man? Dude, I, I, I'm not able to grab him anymore. Yeah, and there he goes. He tries, tries to go for the down special. And yeah, <laughs> you know, I send the forward air there. Unfortunately, can't land the second forward air there. But yeah, like... Uh, as I was saying though, guys, like, um, Iron Giant players, you don't abuse this strat, and like, I understand it's optimal, I get that, but like, this is just such a sad way to play the game, and like, overall, it's just, it's lost me so many undeserved matches, and so yeah, so I, I try to go, um, for a little bit of an offstage risky play there, 142, and I'm really wanting this, this two stock, but it's just not gonna happen. 124 and I you already know what this guy's game plan is right so he's trying to gather as many bolts as he can he throws out the bolt look at him he goes for the grab guy check out my little mickey mouse strategy and then I, I dodge to the left and then put him in his place so yeah and I teabag him of course because you know why do you play multiverses to do that anyway so here we go back under our next game and against um a character I really slept on so as you guys saw in my tier list if you guys were watching that um, I did actually rate Stripe as not top 8 anymore, and I heavily disagree with that statement. I still think he's a top 8 character. Um, I just, I don't know what I was thinking whenever I made that tier list. I must have not dealt with a Stripe in a while or something. Um, but yeah, anyway, so yeah, I still think he's top 8. So Auto Dog X, actually a well-known player. Um, I believe he's an MTO, so I'm pretty happy I got this win over him. Stripe versus Finn is pretty, pretty much even, I would say, even though um, we are in a really disadvantageous map for me. The biggest thing about this map is that it wouldn't be a winning map for, for Stripe if it weren't for the middle platform. The middle platform allows him to just have a win neutral button. And always have, whenever like he lands a hit, he always has that free 5% that comes from Buzzsaw. So at this point, I'm trying to get rid of the sides. I'm like, oh, I might be able to land a down tilt on him. And I'd low-key prefer to just have a smaller stage. So I'm like, okay, let me destroy some of these boom boxes. And so I land, I, I land that down there, destroyed the boom box, and then um, he lands a stereo on me. That was a little bit of a good mix-up. I won't even lie to you. And again, this guy's playing a good Stripe here. I can't even lie to you. Um, I'm not sure why he's using dynamite, but he's, he's timing his gun well. He's, he's definitely landing some really good mix-ups and I got 80, 84% on him at this point. I miss, you know, I, I make him miss that dynamite and I have uh, 300 coins so I can play as, pa as patient as I want to. And of course, you know, he's a win neutral button with buzzsaw right there. So I couldn't really do much there, but I try to go for the backpack chase. Doesn't work out for me. Go for the high five. I miss that. And I get enough till out right as he goes for the punish and he throws out the dynamite and I go for the neutral strong and I dodge down luckily dodging that gun which was such a smart play getting a dodge down right as you get knocked away by, by a stripe is so nice and I'm, I'm surprised he didn't go for the uh you know up tilt there after he landed that first flurry of it but whatever um okay so he lands the gunshot down there which was kind of a weird kill confirm but I mean good for him that was pretty good so I try to land some jabs here. Um, I miss that jab, unfortunately, which is pretty tragic, but I do land a combo out of it, 24%, and he's gunning me, and suddenly I'm at the same percent as him. Feels bad. Um, so I, I go there, try to go land either an up tilt or a down air here. Like, this is kind of just how I play neutrals fit. I want an up tilt or I want a down air. It's literally his best combo starters, so that's all I'm really throwing out most of the time. And sometimes it's Nair, sometimes it's Gem, etc, etc. So I have my Gem in hand now. I destroy his buzzsaw, 63%. I'm starting to realize I might, I might actually lose this. Um, so I land a... Uh, forward air and then try to go for a downer reset, which unfortunately did not happen. I think I went for double fair there and I win, dude. I, I, I actually I'm so happy I got that kill. That was so satisfying, but uh, yeah, really well played by me, honestly. All right, guys, and that's it. That's the video. We did it. So rank 670 on Finn and rank 67 um, on him in general, like in 1v1s. I'm hoping next time, next video, um, we get against an even higher ranked player and maybe we can reach, like, I don't know, we'll see, like, top 30 Finn or something. That'd be kind of sick. So hoping that can happen eventually and, you know, we'll see. So thank you guys so much for coming by today's video. Again, make sure you check out the socials or drop a sub if you enjoy it. And uh, again, if you guys want more videos like this, uh, any sort of support would really help. Um, and again, if I, if I, I, I apologize if i seem toxic uh towards some of those players i just you know I, i'm not really a huge fan of people who rely on cheesy play styles like people who um queue up the game and rely on jake bite or like iron giant you know like down air uh, or sorry grab into down air like i don't know I, ju I just don't fuck with that i just don't think that's such a i don't i don't think that's a good way to play the game because you know it's going to get removed eventually you know it's cheesy so why use it you know what i mean it doesn't take skill so anyway that that's my kind of my take that's my uh, cup of tea what do you guys think in the comments below do you guys think i'm out of pocket for doing that let me know um but anyway guys i'll see you guys next time peace out